Hey, I'm Josh and I like to make stuff. And today on Bits, we're finally gonna talk about Bits for your CNC. If you're new to CNC milling, you may be completely overwhelmed with all the different bits you have available to you. There are a lot of bits to choose from, so you need to know where to start. First thing to consider is what type of cut you're gonna be making. If you're just gonna do a straight 2D cut where you wanna plunge down and cut something out, that's one type of bit. If you're gonna be doing 3D relief carving, those are other types of bits. The second consideration is the material that you're gonna be cutting. Certain types of materials demand certain types of bits. The first type of bit we're gonna talk about is an end mill. An end mill has a flat bottom and a 90 degree cut. They cut in either an up or a down style cut. These are really good for just cutting something out or if you're making a pocket with a flat bottom. The second type of bit, which is almost the same as an end mill, it's called a bull nose. Bull nose has a flat bottom, but instead of having a 90 degree side, it has a radius corner. The third type of bit is a ball nose bit. These are primarily used for 3D relief carving because it's not so angular and allows you to hide some of the lines as you carve over a 3D surface. The fourth kind of bit we're gonna talk about, and my personal favorite, are V-bits. V-bits allow you to carve in text and very, very fine detail because the bit comes to a point. There are 90 degree, 60 degree, and even 30 degree bits. The last bit we're gonna talk about is a surfacing bit. These have a massive diameter and have carbide teeth that allow you to skim off the top layer of really, really wide surfaces. Now you know what you wanna cut and what you wanna cut it out of, you need to figure out something called speeds and feeds. The speed and feed rate for your project will vary depending on the material that you're using, the diameter of your bit, how many cutting flutes it has, and how many chips you're hoping to remove per pass. To help you with your speeds and feeds calculation, there are charts available online that reference different materials and different tool diameters. We'll link the one that we use down below. Now that you have your cutting parameters set up in your tool path, you need to know which bit to use. Whether you're working with hardwood, softwoods, acrylics, metals, or MDF, each one of those has a bit that works best for that particular material. There are simple rules of thumb, like if something has a lot of fibers, using a down cut bit that will push the fibers into the cut is usually best. Plywoods, hardwoods, MDF, things like that that have a tendency to fray. If you're cutting things like plastics or acrylics, an up cut bit or a single flute bit can be best because it evacuates that molten plastic out of the cut path. All this to say that not all CNC bits are the same. By doing a little bit of work up front and choosing the right bit allows you to not have to do a lot of finishing work on the back end. If you have more information on CNC bits or there's some that I didn't cover, talk about those down in the comments so we can all learn together. This episode of Bits is brought to you by Weldbond. It is a universal adhesive that we've been using in the shop for a long time. It's really awesome. If you want to find out more, there's a link down in the description. We have a whole library of other Bits videos if you want to see more like this, and we'll be back real soon with a new project video.